Greetings, voyagers. <laughs> Coal Creek Campground. We got stranded here last night. We came up the mountains from uh, New Mexico, or technically we're in uh, we're in Arizona. We crossed the state line about a mile or so back. The last forecast I heard said uh, light snow through western and central New Mexico. Well, light snow ain't no big deal. We're from Boston. <laughs> We're driving that stuff all the time, but it's a big deal up here because they don't see it that often, and they do not sand or salt the roads. And... Uh, we got stuck. We didn't get stuck. We got stranded, essentially. We got to a place where the snow was coming down so hard that it was almost white out. I couldn't see very far in front, and I couldn't tell whether that white patch out in front was uh, the road or just the clearing in the, in the woods. Um, so we had to stop, and there was a couple people behind us in a pickup truck. And I asked if we were okay, and we said, yeah, and they had been driving up. And they're locals, they live up here, they live around here. And they said they're turning around <clears throat> and heading back. Because we're kind of at the top of the elevation here. And from, from here on back down into Arizona is going to be downhill. <clears throat> but they said they weren't going to chance it. It was too risky because there's very steep grades and a lot of sharp turns, sharp curves. And so they were turning around and heading back. And I figured, yeah, that's not a bad idea. And uh, it was about a mile further up. And we decided to come back here. I remember seeing this campground that we had just passed. So we made it back here. They do plow. It's, it's been plowed, but, you know, plowing isn't enough. If you don't sand or salt, you know, this is all icy here. I mean, it's, it's almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, there was a hunter who came through here with his pickup truck and had all his camouflage gear on and towing his Arctic cat on a trailer behind him. And uh, he said, I made it up, but I got four-wheel drive and I was in four-wheel drive all the way up. He said, you probably make it down if you keep it in first gear and just creep along. And uh, I said, well, I haven't, the last forecast I heard was yesterday, so what's the temperature going to be today? He says, oh, it's going to get up into the 40s, so it will melt. So we'll give it another hour. I can see it's already starting to melt. He said it was further down, it was already starting to melt, so... We'll just wait. But he said it was 15 degrees. This was about an hour ago. He came by. And uh, he said it was 15 degrees. Didn't feel that cold, but I'll take his word for it. Now these folks who live around here, they have four-wheel drive vehicles. I guess you're going to need it in a place like this. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? It's like a winter wonderland. It's awful. What are these? What are these prints? Somebody been walking along here? Those look like footprints. Somebody must have been walking along here. Maybe somebody hunting. Isn't this beautiful, huh? Wow. Nothing so soothing as the sound of a babbling brook. I wonder if there's any trout in that brook. I should probably put the action cam on the selfie stick and go stick the camera underwater and see if there's anything swimming around down there. Isn't this beautiful? It's 
So our mission was to come to Arizona, spend the winter where it will be warm and dry. Finally made it to Arizona. <laughs> and this is what we get. <laughs> But this is beautiful country up here. I'm going to have to come back in the summer. Spend some time in New Mexico. Up here in the higher elevations. Fantastic. I'm so glad we got here. Even in the cold. It's beautiful. And it's just so peaceful and tranquil. This is the way to live, my friends. This is the way to live. But well, we have a full tank of propane, just filled up the propane tank. So we have heat, still got enough food. We could last a couple of days up here if we had to, but it's a beautiful clear sky. I got a feeling it's already warming up. I can't see my breath anymore. You know, these weather conditions can change rapidly up here. Now what is that? Look at this. Some animal came through here. Dragging its tail all the way down. So this is a pretty cute little campground. Look at these big ponderosa pines. Yeah. Coal Creek Campground. Has bathrooms. No running water. No electrical hookup. You're really dry boondocking out here. It says no garbage service. Please pack it out. Huh. But uh, it says no, no garbage, but This trash can, people have been using it. There's another one in the ladies' room. So, uh, yeah, this was a perfect spot. I mean, we got stuck and had to turn around and come back, and this, this was right here, able to pull in and spend the night. This is so fantastically beautiful. I can hardly believe it. I can hardly believe I'm here. And there's animals around. We saw something yesterday. I'll have to look at my uh, my action cam. I had the action cam on the dashboard going when we came through here yesterday afternoon. And it was right about here where we saw a small animal walking along next to the road. And uh, I was too busy with traffic, you know, keeping my mind on the snow and the road conditions to stop and get anything. But I think it was a badger. It was either a badger or maybe a wolverine. Uh, I think I may have picked it up on my action cam. I'll have to go back and look at that footage and see if I can find that animal. Yeah, beautiful. So it's been an adventurous road trip, for sure. A lot of challenges, a lot of obstacles thrown in our path. But we have overcome the challenges. We made it this far. And we're gonna make it the rest of the way. We're going all the way. No half measures.
There's still a few flakes of snow coming down. But it is warming up because I can no longer see my breath in the air. I think probably another hour or so the road will be uh, melted enough for us to safely come down out of these elevations and into the warmer flatlands below.